we've been listening to children and their views about what they're experiencing, and they share them very readily. Being able to film it was useful, but the crucial ingredient was talk. It's fun because you get to tape and you get to talk about what you what you want to say. I learned lots about what teachers' jobs are and what they do. I never knew that teachers would listen to children about what they would improve on and everything. The beginning was very hard and uh, it was like falling off a cliff. It was like setting it all up and running to the edge and jumping and not knowing what the landing was going to be like. I guess the question was, could children be involved in performance management or could we find a way to help them to be involved in it because I really strongly believe that they should. Here's a new teaching thing on, and, and we film children talking about what their teachers could improve. Great! And I think a good teacher would be one who makes us laugh. Be kind, helpful, funny, not mean. Good teachers have good knowledge. One who helps us explain it well. Makes boring lessons more fun. Gives us a treat for when we've been good all day. Help you if you look. He makes us laugh. And they know what you're capable of and what you're not capable of. And the best. My teacher is interested in thinking about how she does her job and wants to get better at it. Yeah. My teacher likes trying out new ideas to see if they work and changing things for the better, if that yeah. seems like a good yeah. idea. Yeah. So do we think these are important for any teacher that we have My to be a good teacher? Trying, uh, what about this one, this word respect? What do you think, do you, what do you think about that word? Well, she has a lot of respect. <laughs> yeah. She does. Yeah. Mm. That's what she asks us to do. No, writing, like if we was writing a story, she'd ask us to Think, well, big, big adjectives, yeah, yeah. Big, big words, bold words, I think that's important. I think that's good as well. I don't know why, but I just thought that she could do a bit better when she's talking to us about stuff. Okay. Make it easier. Yeah, so we understand the class. So, so do you think she should be able to explain a bit more yeah, sometimes? Yeah, easy yeah. in words that we don't understand. Yeah. Okay. Well, she just um, gets like the one she's the door, door and, and basically shows you what you should do and yeah. how mm -hmm. tricky. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that should stay for Yeah, that should go stay green. Yeah. Why? It's just like then, yes, really, you're part yeah, of the team. When you're just like and and you are really good at it. Like, there's some like men on the benches at in football teams, it's just like that because they write down tactics that they could improve on. Absolutely. Because yeah. Uh, yeah, at, at half time in football, they go like, into the changing rooms and, and they're like, they're coaching. what they need to improve. Yeah. Yeah. And as it says, Friends of the Earth are running a green film competition. They're asking people to make a film that lasts exactly 60 seconds long. What I thought we could do while we have a camera and we're all getting really good at filming, is plan and film some 60 second videos. Oh, the first thing you need to know is how long 60 seconds last. Use your think partner next to you. Some ideas. Very quick, I'm going to give you just 15 seconds. What could you do? So you're going to split it up to three 20 second segments. Good idea. Any questions about the job or do we know exactly what we're doing to begin with? First idea is after the mind map, sit up when you're ready to see you're ready to go. I think maybe it's thinking particularly about this year, whether you understood what I was asking you to yeah. do and what I was explaining to you. 
I think it should be green because I always understand my work now. Right. Like after we set you that target, I always understand my work and I didn't used to most of the time. I think it should be green because like when you try out new ideas, you can like it's like a scientist where you experiment and see if it works. Oh, and and if it doesn't work, then you just go and try and move. Because mm -hmm. every target that we've set you, yeah, I think I think that you've either I think she's gradually gone up, got and done them. Yeah. yeah. Do you think it's better for me now? I've got your ideas as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so do you think all teachers should get that that opportunity? Yeah. Because mm. some people don't like never dare to go, go up to them and say you need to work on this to make the learner a lot happier. Yeah, but when we do this, it makes us feel like that we can tell you because we don't know we wouldn't dare go up to you and tell you normally. Normally, mm. dare go up to a teacher and go, you need to work on. Like yeah. You need to work on. Need to work. Yeah, but you need to work on explaining it more. Yeah. You need to work on explaining yeah, it more. Yeah. If it was a different teacher and like your teacher, how would you know that? You need something like this. Talk about it. To sit and talk yeah. about it. Yeah. As a so group. they, so they understand what you're on about. Mm. So is the most important thing now to persuade other people to do it? Yeah. Because yeah. then that will let them know what they need to work on and how they could improve. Mm -hmm. And it's not, not just targets. It's not just in the school, because it, it's going to be on like a film. It's going to go through everywhere and everyone will know. Even helps people to learn doing this. It helps teachers to learn. Yeah. And, and children. And now yeah, we know if we can call up to you and say, you need to work on this. You, this is a target for you, mm -hmm. and you're good at this. Mm -hmm. So basically, we need to remember what's on the sheets. So like, when you're like not explaining clearly, we know what you need to do and what you don't. Yeah. It'd be good if every teacher could hand out letters and let us do this. Yeah. But, but not like you don't have to put it on to teach TV. You can, you can just talk. Anything. You can just, you can just come around the table and talk. The decision to withdraw totally in the afternoon of the first day when Mike worked with the group turned out to be quite traumatic and, uh, and I basically had time to myself where I realised really the potential outcomes of it. Um, and that sort of culture shift for me was quite a big one, far more so than I, than I thought it would be. And it took a little while to get... Uh, my, my thinking are framed around that. Because, Michael, you gave a lot of support with them, didn't you? How'd, what was your role? I was basically wanted them to uh, feel free that they weren't going to be in any trouble. What they were saying was uh, very valued and important and not to worry about uh, any kind of reactions that they think they might have thought the teacher would have about it, just mm -hmm. to be honest. And I was trying to draw out um, discussions between them because they were marking down on, on a sheet whether they thought her performance was good or needed improving or if it was poor. Because, like, there was, like, questions that we had to answer and there was, like, green for good and, like, yellow for what you could improve on and red for a, a target that they needed to, like, set themselves. Do you think that your children could do something like that? I, I'm the coordinator for PSHE throughout the school and we do encourage a lot of discussion throughout the school um, and I think the earlier you start the better and yes I think uh, definitely we could learn from them and I think it's very important we do. We shouldn't think oh, I'm the teacher I know it all. We should, yeah, we should be humble and, and listen to their point of view. One of the questions that was raised in there was about respect and I think that's something that's very important. Uh, um, the children um, feel respected. We kind of take it for granted that we're, the we're in the teaching staff um, and support staff, and we are right. I think trust as well, and respect was one word that came up. Trust is yeah. the other, that we can trust mm. the children to be involved in it. And once they had that trust, and they say that for themselves as the film moves through the process, that they suddenly realised they could, that, that their comments were welcomed and that they could participate in it. And they just started to shine. And there was a different level of maturity with Definitely. them, actually. You yes, you can see it, can't you, through, yes. through the, the six minutes. That yeah. You can see them very hesitant at the beginning and at the end wanting to run teacher training sessions. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Show everybody how to do it. Yes. <laughs> 
So in terms of running teacher training sessions, David, do, would you like to see this implemented across the school? I think it would be welcomed by the, by the teachers. Um, we, we have articulate children, children who are confident that they'll be listened to, confident that um, what they say is important. Um, and I think we are in a position as a school to welcome those comments to help us improve our practice. Should children write a report on their teacher at the end of the year, yeah. Yeah. the same as yeah. the teacher does about the children? Yeah. yeah. What sort of things would you have in the report? Um, about the teacher behaviour. I, I feel I'm, <laughs> I'm opening a can of worms here. So teacher behaviour, what do you think, Alex? Do you like our reports? Instead of doing it about us, you mm. could do it about them. Say, like, the first one would be English, you could put on what they need to improve on in English and, like, mm. how good they are. So even more then, specific? Yeah. yeah, just like ours, but not about us, about you. Who would do the general comments? We the head teacher. Them. So it'd be Ma back to Mr Maxme, or could would yeah, you do or it? Yeah, or we could do it. Yeah, yeah Mr Maxme might, might be having we, one on him. You. It's a step into the unknown, but I believe that like many things, you hold people's hands and take them into the unknown and it will be a success. So I, I'm a positive person about, about this particular aspect and uh, although it's the unknown, yeah, I think we can get there. Um, and from the abyss? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think nobody really wants to go th through the motions just for the sake of it. Today. So if you're really going to invest in the process of performance management review, you have to take a risk in a really positive way. And I'm going to beat the metaphor to death because we did talk about the feeling that it was jumping off a cliff. But actually, the team involved the children. David was talking about taking people's hands in a trusting way, and that's what the children did. That's what we did together. And I think instead of falling, I was fearful that we were going to fall or I was going to fall. And actually, it comes over in the film that we were elated and it was a feeling of we weren't falling, we were actually flying. It was fantastic and very exciting process to be involved in together. I think having done this project, I wouldn't be comfortable having performance management review that didn't involve the children. Very good point. That was a bold statement. Thank I'm you. Sorry about that one. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good one. <laughs>